our lesson for today is all about illustrations of quadratic equation. So we have the following objectives. The first one, write the quadratic equation in standard form. Next, identify quadratic equations. And the last one, appreciate the importance of quadratic equation. So let's start first to the definition of a quadratic equation. A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in the following standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. Next, standard form of quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where ax squared is the quadratic term, bx is the linear term, and c is the constant term. Okay, so let's have an example. Example number 1, 2x squared minus 6x minus 15 is equal to 0. Is that a quadratic equation? Okay, so this is a quadratic equation in a standard form. So as you can see, we have 2x squared minus 6x minus 15 is equal to 0 is like our part pattern which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Let's see if we have the values of a, b, and c. Okay, we have the values of a, b, and c. So the value of a is equal to 2. The value of b is equal to negative 6. And the value of c is equal to negative 15. That's why this equation is a quadratic equation. Example number 2, we have 2x multiplied to the quantity x minus 4 is equal to 18. Okay, so is that a quadratic equation? Okay, so this is a quadratic equation. However, it is not written in standard form. Okay, so how can we transform this equation into a standard form of a quadratic equation? To write the equation in standard form, expand the product and make one side of the equation 0 as shown below. So this is our equation, 2x multiplied to quantity x minus 4 is equal to 18. We're going to use distributive property to this side. We're going to multiply 2x to x and then 2x to negative 4. Okay, so let's start. 2x multiplied to x, that will become 2x squared. Next, 2x multiplied to negative 4. And it will become negative 8x and equal to 18. Again, we're going to make one side of the equation 0. So in order to make this part or this side 0, we're going to subtract 18. Not only to this side, but also to this side. Okay, so it will become 2x squared minus 8x minus 18 is equal to 18 minus 18. So as you can see, if we're going to subtract this one, 18 minus 18, it will become 0. And then our equation, we have 2x squared minus 8x minus 18 is equal to 0. 
So the equation becomes 2x squared minus 8x minus 18 is equal to 0, which is in standard form, where a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 8, and then c is equal to negative 18. Example number 3. Quantity 2x plus 5 multiplied to quantity x minus 1 is equal to negative 6. So is that a quadratic equation? Okay, this is also a quadratic equation, but it is not written in standard form. Okay, so again, we're going to transform this equation into a standard form. To write the equation in standard form, expand the product and make one side of the equation zero as shown below. So this is our equation, quantity 2x plus 5 multiplied to quantity x minus 1 is equal to negative 6. Okay, so this side, we're going to use the FOIL method. Okay, so 2x multiplied to x that will become 2x squared next 2x multiplied to negative 1 it will become negative 2x and the next one we have 5 or positive 5 multiplied to positive x we have positive 5x and the last one positive 5 multiplied to negative 1 that is negative 5 equal to 6. Okay, so in this equation, we're going to combine like terms. When we say combine like terms, those are the exponent that are the same. So we have 2x squared and then negative 2x plus 5x are like terms. So we're going to subtract this one because they are unlike sign. So we have positive 3x. Why positive? Because 5, which is positive, is the highest. And then well, minus 5 is equal to negative 6. Okay, so again, we're going to make one side of the equation 0. So, automatic, we're going to add 6 to this side and also add 6 to this side. So, if we simplify this negative 6 plus 6, that will be 0. Again, combining like terms to this part, we have 2x squared plus 3x, negative 5, and positive 6 are like terms. And they are unlike signs, so we're going to subtract. So the outcome will be positive 1. So why positive? Because 6 is the highest and its sign is positive. So the equation becomes 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0, which is in standard form. So our ABC values are A is equal to 2 b is equal to positive 3 and c is equal to positive 1. So, did you understand our lesson? Okay, I know that you are now ready for our game. So, the title of our game is Fact or Bluff. Here's the instruction. Write fact if the equation is quadratic and bluff if the equation is not quadratic. I will give you three seconds to think about your answer, and then afterwards, I will give the correct answer. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Number one, x squared plus x minus three is equal to zero. Is it a fact or bluff? Timer starts 
Now, time's up. The correct answer is fact because the highest degree of exponent in this equation is 2. Next, number 2. 24x plus 81 is equal to x squared. Is it a fa fact or bluff? Timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is fact because the highest degree of exponent here is 2. Number 3. X squared is equal to 2x multiplied to 6x squared plus 4. Is it a fact or bluff? Timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is bluff. Okay, so why bluff is the answer in this equation? By means of distributive property to this part, if we multiply 2x to 6x squared, the outcome will be 12x cubed. And now, the highest degree of exponent of the, this equation now is 3, which is not a quadratic equation. Number 4, 2x squared is equal to 7x. Is it a fact or bluff? Time's up. The correct answer is fact because the highest degree of this uh, equation is 2. Last but not the least, 5 minus x plus quantity 2x minus 3 is equal to 12. Is it a fact or bluff? Okay, so the correct answer is bluff because the highest degree of exponent in this equation is both 1. Okay, so did you enjoy our game? Alright, now let's proceed now to practice. Write each equation in standard form, then identify the values of a, b, and c. Number 1, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. Number 2, 3x minus 2x squared is equal to 7. Number 3, x multiplied to the quantity 4x plus 6 is equal to 28. Number 4, quantity 3x minus 7 multiplied to quantity 5x plus 2. And number 5, quantity x plus 7 multiplied to quantity x minus 7 is equal to 3x. Okay, so I want you to pause this video at the count of 5. And then... Put your answers on a piece of paper, or write your answers on a piece of paper, and then after 15 minutes, play it again, so that you will know the correct answers and check your own activity. Okay, so are you ready? At the count of five, post this video. Five, four, three, two, one. The correct answers are, we have 1, 2x squared, plus 5x, minus 3, is equal to 0, a is 2, b is 5, and c is negative 3. Number 2, we have the standard form 2x squared, minus 3x, plus 7, is equal to 0, a is positive 2, B is negative 3, C is positive 7. Number 3, we have 4x squared plus 6x minus 28 is equal to 0. A is 4, 
B is 6, and C is negative 28. Number 4, 15x squared minus 29x minus 14 is equal to 0. A is equal to 15, B is equal to negative 29, and C is equal to negative 14. And the last one, the standard form is x squared minus 3x minus 49 is equal to 0. A is 1, B is negative 3, and C is negative 49. So that is the correct answers. I hope you get the 100% score for you to move to the next lesson. Again, God bless and goodbye.